All right, so here we go with the next part of dimensional analysis, which is uh, dealing with units that aren't canceled out, such as grams per milliliter, which would be a density. Uh, grams is mass, milliliters is volume. Mass divided by volume gives you density, and you can't cancel grams with milliliters. Um, so we call those complex units. Complex units, they're not canceling out. And we have to know how to deal with those in our chart. So uh, if I were to write this into our chart, and I put grams per milliliter, and I draw the line, as I see often done, that's just wrong because you have grams per milliliter divided by, you know, something else. And uh, the key that I like to point out is that word per. So we have grams per milliliter, so things like miles per hour, uh, tons per cubic inch, uh, and that would mean it's divided by. So when we say grams per milliliter in our chart, we're going to put grams per milliliter like this. So now when we convert grams, we're going to put grams down on the bottom to cancel it. And when we get rid of milliliters, we're going to put it on the top to cancel it. So let's look at our conversion factors given here. So we have uh, 454 grams in one pound, and that cancels grams. So now I have pounds per milliliter. 2,000 pounds in one ton. Pounds is gone. I got tons on the top. That's what I want. So now i got to change the milliliters to inches cubed. And so uh, my conversion there is one milliliter is one centimeter cubed. Notice I put the milliliters on the top because I had it on the bottom here. Remember, that's the key to getting the per, per, grams per milliliter. Now I put milliliters on the top so that it cancels. Even though it's not right next to each other, one on the top, one on the bottom, they cancel. I have centimeters cubed on the bottom. The last conversion is there, 16.3. 3.0 centimeters cubed is 1 inch cubed. So cubic inch, centimeters, and centimeters cancel. Again, one on the top, one on the bottom. I got inches cubed on the bottom. I got tons on the top. That's what I want. Um, and so from there, I just calculate the same way we would before. So I'm going to multiply um, 2.70 times 16.30. And I get that across the top. Now remember how I like to solve these is divide by each of the bottom ones and hit equal. So divided by 454 equals divided by 2000 equals. So my correct answer, um, notice it automatically put it in scientific notation, three significant digits because that's what I have in my original number. 4.8 rounds to 5 times 10 to the minus fifth tons per cubic inch. So there's how we deal with units that won't cancel. I have another one for you. Um, a particular glacier is known to move 58.6 centimeters per day. What is that speed in miles per second? I made it miles per second instead of hours just so we have an extra conversion. 58.6 centimeters per day. Per day. Divided by days. Um, centimeters. I can look at my conversions here. 2.54 centimeters is 1 inch. Uh, over there, 12 inches is 1 foot. 5,280 feet in one mile. All right, feet, inch, centimeters. I know I did it right. So now I got to get rid of days. So I want to put days up top, one day, 24 hours, one hour, 60 minutes, one minute, 60 seconds. All right, so days on the bottom. Days on the top. Hours, hours, minutes, minutes. I got seconds on the bottom. Got miles on the top. That's what I want. 58.6. That's it on the top. So divided by 2.54, divided by 12, divided by 5280, divided by 24, divided by 60, divided by 60. Uh, once again, it's three significant digits, 4.21 times 10 to the minus 9 miles per second. So there it is. That's a complex conversion. Um, and really not that much different. The key is to starting it right, per, centimeters per day.